Hello friends, island of Socotra, off the coast of Africa, is home of rarest species of Adenium, the Adenium Socotranum. This species is endemic to that island. It is the tallest of all eight species of Adenium reaching some 15 feet in height, but it grows very, very slowly because it is dormant most of the year. Here are my seven year old seedlings of this species. Seven years old, yet they never bloomed and never managed to grow any branches. But because I grafted two of the siblings on fast-growing adenium rootstock, they bloomed two years ago. And I was able to cross-pollinate it with this very dark red, multi-petal, fast-growing adenium obesum. I did it in hope of creating a hybrid that would be looking like Socotranum as much as possible, but faster growing, sooner blooming. And to some degree, I think I already succeeded in just the first generation of this cross. Here are the plants, two years old, very much Socotranum-like, but dark red flowers. Some are double petal, some single. Some didn't bloom yet, so I don't know. They are more branchy than true Socotranum that you can see here, even though this is seven-year-old and this is two-year-old, similar height. And the leaves are also very similar to Trusocotranum, with a pronounced by Adenium standard veins. Here you can see the leaves of my first generation F1 hybrid. And here you can see the Trusocotranum leaves. And because they bloomed first time three months ago, I crossed them, some with each other, in hopes of getting from the second generation, F2 generation, from these seeds some plants that would be even more Socotranum-like because of desirable recessive genes showing up in some of the offspring. Here are some seed pods that didn't ripen, didn't crack yet. And also back cross them on one of my grafted Socotranums to see if more of its genes would bring some offspring that will be even more Socotranum-like, yet grow faster. Well, my friends, that's all for now. That's how far I got with this project.
Goodbye, my friends.